So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. So with diagram questions, we want to label everything that we can. So let's see if there's anything to label with this diagram that we have. The first thing that stands out to me is that both of these triangles have an angle that is 8 degrees. I also will take note that these two angles here are congruent because they are vertical angles. So automatically, these two triangles, and, and by these two triangles, I mean triangle uh, WQX is similar to triangle YQZ. Um, what do we know about similar triangles? Well, we know that their corresponding sides are proportional. Hopefully, you remember that. Um, that in order to, first of all, have similar triangles, you have to have two congruent angles, which we have in A and these unknown angles here. And that once you have that, the corresponding sides are, are uh, proportional. So let's read what we're also given about those sides here. It says, in the figure shown, line segment WZ and line segment XY intersect at point Q. We see that. YQ equals 63, so there's more to label, so I'm going to label that as 63 right here. WQ is 70, so that's more to label, label that as 70. WX is 60, so I'm going to put that in there as well. And XQ is 120, so let's put that in there as well. Okay, what is the length of YZ? So we want to know this length here. So it's like these two triangles are facing each other, right? So I am, I'm not good with uh, fi figuring out corresponding sides of similar triangles unless they're drawn in the same orientation. So I'm actually going to redraw my triangles here just so I can see them very clearly in the same orientation. All right, let me show you what I mean by that. So this top triangle, I'm going to label this top angle as W, which makes this A degrees. I'm going to label this left angle as X, which makes this WX, making that 60. I'm going to label my white angle, my, my right angle as Q, so label that as Q, making this 120 here and 70 there. I'm going to do the exact same thing for my right triangle, so this triangle here. So the top will be Y. How do I know that? Because, well, that's where the A degrees is, and I want it to be in the same orientation as the top triangle. I'm going to label this as Q, right? So this is why I like to do this, because I'm really flipping that right triangle around and putting Q on, taking Q from the left and moving it to the right so that it's um, in the same orientation as my top triangle. So that's my angle Q there. Um, do I know what YQ is? Yeah, I do. So that's 63, so I'll label that. And that makes this angle Z here. And again, we, we knew that the Qs were the same in case there was some confusion about that. So those, those angles are the same here. Okay, so then that's all we know, right? 60, 70, and 120 from the top triangle and just 63 from the bottom triangle. And it's this angle here, this YZ. And I'll just label that, let's call it... Um, I don't know what's a letter that's not shown. Let's call it let's call it side B, right? So capital B is a side B. Okay, so let's let's take care of the proportionality thing. So we said corresponding sides of similar triangles are proportional. How does that look? Well, that means I can take the left side of this triangle and the left side of this bottom triangle and make a ratio and say, well, the relationship between 60 and B is equal to the ratio or the relationship between 70 and 63, right? Those sides are corresponding. So I'll just write that over here, 70 and 63. So there's my proportion that I can create. I'm going to do a little bit of simplification here before I cross multiply. I know that 7 goes into 70 10 times. I know that 7 goes into 63 9 times. From there, I'm going to cross multiply because that's how you solve proportion questions. And what I'm going to get is a, we're going to go this way for space, B times 10, which is 10B, is equal to 60 times 9, which is 540. And now it's pretty clear how we get to the finish line. I divide both sides by 10, and I'm left with, again, let's go to the left. For space purposes, I'm left with 
B is equal to 54. Of course, our B is the line segment YZ, which is exactly what the question was asking for. So the answer to this question is 54.